Hey, green a fish on. That's good. You got him. You got him. You got him. There we go. <laughs> it's running now. One more time. Can you come Well, hello and welcome back everybody and or anybody. This is Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. I'm in a pretty unique location today. I'm in Kenai, Alaska, fishing Cook Inlet. Uh, clearly this is not Charleston. We have uh, snowy mountain peaks over there across the bay with, uh, that's actually a volcano there. We uh, just got off the water. We were out there for about six hours doing some halibut and king salmon fishing. Caught a whole bunch of fish, had a lot of action. It was a really fun, unique experience. I'm actually here with my dad, which is awesome. This is a trip we've always kind of dreamed of doing. We'll be fishing for uh, three days total, so we're out here two more days. We're gonna be out here on the ocean again tomorrow, and then the next day we're gonna drift the river. We're gonna try to get some salmon, trout, things like that. They're just starting to move into the rivers now, so it's a little bit early in the season for the river salmon, but there's always trout. We definitely got on a good king salmon and halibut bite today. It was some really crazy action. It was a lot of fun. Caught a lot of fish, and we're bringing uh, about a pound and a half of halibut back tonight to cook up for dinner. So uh, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's about as fresh as it gets. Straight out of Cook Inlet there, and uh, straight onto the pan tonight. But I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as we did doing the fishing today. Uh, it was about 48 degrees, a little bit of a breeze, so it was a bit nippy in the air today, but not too bad. Like I said, we'll be here for two more days, so hopefully I'll have two more videos for you. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So we're currently trolling for uh, king salmon, trying to see what we can get, see what happens. Okay, so here's a quick explanation if you've never used a downrigger like I hadn't before this trip. The black bar is running a cable with a heavy lead weight below it. I think this one was about 10 pounds. Then there's a clip attached below the weight where the line from the rod is through and the lure or whatever else you're trolling is then essentially running at whatever depth you drop that heavy weight to. The idea here is that a fish hits the lure, it breaks free of the release clip, the line is running through, then you're just fighting it with the rod. Now later on you're going to see an example where the clip did an initial release and it caused some problems. You're also going to see an example of where I didn't understand that the downrigger would leave some slack in the line, so I thought I lost a fish. That's what we were saying, yeah. yeah usually, and then you're right, the harmonics, like, it was just like, it, it sounded like it was clear. It sounded like one drift. What's that floating off over there? What's that? Is that an otter? Probably. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. That, yeah. That's, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, there's No, a it's bunch. old school to you guys, but. There's a bunch out <laughs> Oh, this one just got tapped. It didn't go down, though, but it was definitely a jump. Okay. Must say it jumped off the bottom. Oh, here, grab it, grab it. Grab huh? it. Get it in your hand. There we go. Hold it in your hand. So just get it in your hand and let it do its thing. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. Feel that now. I think so. You wanted to clear it or? Yeah, let me see. Oh. Real, real, real. 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 That's, real. That's real. Follow, follow, follow. Come to this corner. Come to this corner. All right. Now you're fishing. There you now go. we're going. Okay. I think that is a better fish. I don't know that it's. Hey, yeah. Bring them up. Okay. Woo. There we go. Oh. It's running now. Woo. Oh yeah, big time. The high pressure is good. Yeah, you're going good there. This part I'm familiar with. <laughs> oh. Easy, yep. Yeah. There you go. The clicker? Yeah, you don't want a clicker in your whole video. <laughs> no, no one likes that. It could be a decent halibut. It's, it's got some weight to it. Definitely, definitely good. It pulled some serious drag. Did it? Oh yeah, it, yeah. it ripped out for a good like 20 <laughs> seconds. So I'm used to fishing for flounder in like the 20 inch class. Right. <laughs> oh, <you're> so, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I definitely will be. <laughs> oh, it's sucking down now. There we go. Yeah. Right. And let me know when you start to see some color. 
I'll keep you posted on that. Oh, I'm seeing the flasher. All right, what do we got? Well, that's a good helmet. Not bad at all. I would keep that one for your big one, to be honest with you. Okay. You, you're the expert here, I'm not. Keep chugging forward. <laughs> All right, go ahead and lift up slow for me. Circling back. Yep, yep, lift. Oh, oh, oh. Lift up, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Do you want me to grab a line, Chris? There you go. Easy. Ooh. I don't know if you can do it with the rod. Yeah, we'll get him. Okay. Uh, In my world, that was scary, so I didn't like that. <laughs> Just float them. You know, they'll float to the surface. Yeah. I only got the little trailer hook in there, so I didn't want to gap it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was looking at that, too. We're coming oh, back up. Yeah. yeah, keep it nice and low and just steer forward. Keep steering. Keep going. Go, go, go. Yep. Keep going. All right. Now just swing them wide and kind of steer them over my head. Over here? Yep. Go ahead. Start lifting. Got to lift earlier. Nope. Too far down. Nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, it, 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 it. Yeah, it <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, that's all you ever want. <laughs> that's perfect. Pop the leader. Yeah, he did in the net. <laughs> Cool. I was gonna say your rig's a little bit gone here. Uh, Thirty pound meter, forty pound fish. That, that I guess good. that's how it works out. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Jeez. That's that's a good fish for this time of year, man. Good, good first, out. good first one on the deck. Yeah, absolutely. Now wow. You need your shorty. Yeah. That's a good fish for. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't believe how hard it was pulling. <laughs> yeah. Not from and it didn't take immediately. Like that's what we're talking about. Like yeah, get them out, I like, saw I saw the thud. It didn't break for a while. Yeah. I saw the thud and I was like, oh, maybe it bounced off the bottom. Not quite. So when you gotta run these down, your left thumb's on the spool. You pull the lever on the right. Let it run down nice and smooth. It's not very far down there. <laughs> Okay, so what you're seeing here is we switched over to doing some halibut fishing. We're in about 40 or 50 feet of water right now and we're running a double drop rig. And if you'd like, you can bounce the bottom here or you can go right in the holder. Typically when there's a little bit of a chop and a roll like this, if you can take some of that away, you know, by holding the rod, you're gonna get a little more action. There you are, buddy. Thank you. These are circle hooks though, so yes. let them eat on it. <laughs> How heavy is the lead on here? These are two pounders on here. Yeah. <laughs> so I take it these things aren't skittish. <laughs> Dropping a two pound weight on the bottom repeatedly. Yeah. No, they're, they're pretty voracious. Most of our action's probably gonna happen once we've turned, you know, so the incoming tide starts to push that way. Right. Especially in these shallow. Right? I look at the wow. stomach, yeah. Wow. Now the fish, even the little fish in the shallows are so hefty right now, though. I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> if you, in the, I mean, unless you're looking for the L word. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that word. Remember, be careful. That's only a 50 pound leader. <laughs> when you see him, let me know. There's an under. Woo! Here. Hey, at this rate, they keep getting bigger. Look at that. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a, a one that wasn't. They're but so <laughs> melty though. Like, it's yeah, it's hard. Yeah. It. Is he going in the box? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. There's no sense in being greedy with a 28 to 32 inch. You know? Yeah. It's a pretty, that's a pretty small slot window. Yeah. Here, what you're seeing is my dad and Corey got their lines mixed up, and uh, one of them, I'm still not sure who, got nice. a good short Ooh. halibut. Nice. <laughs> that was a big takedown. That was. Nice fish, too. Yeah. Mm hmm.
So here, unfortunately, my camera is a little bit more angled up than I usually like to have it, so we missed a little bit of the action. Going in and out of the main cabin there, I kept bumping my head against the rods. I think this is gonna be looking like a perfect I'm on. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see this one right now. He's digging. That lighter weight was the ticket. And the tide. And the tide doesn't hurt, yeah. All right, I see him. Uh, he's, uh, he might be my under. He's a, he's a big under if he is. All right, hang on one sec, let me get the bat back in the game. Yeah, I'll let him tire out a bit here. Oh yeah, that's an under it looks like. So right here, we'd had a bunch of good bites in a very quick succession, so Chris is getting another bait down really quick before he helps me. Sure thing. Steer him out wide first, wide first. Nice. I think that's under. That double hole one right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think watch, watch the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I think he is too. And I think that Woo. one is too. All right. I think you're going to be tagged out, my man. You guys are keeping fish together? You definitely are. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, sweet. We Jerry, still got what time you come around this lighter rod now? We should have had you film over here, but I'm pretty sure Corey stole my fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to the tape on that one. But, uh... <laughs> so I skipped over a lot of these small halibut that we just threw back. Uh, not too exciting, but even the small halibut are bigger than a big flounder, so. 300 pounder? <laughs> Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh. Oh, you're on too? There's your short. There you got one. Got another one now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Do you want me a net? No. You just gonna flip them? No, no, I mean, I, I agree. Yeah, go ahead, just swing it. Swing it. Go ahead, bring that over. Watch out, we got a live one. Yep. You? He'll pull it. You got a five pound weight on 300 feet. Yeah, he said, yeah, here's the big one, get this in. <laughs> Isn't that just the planter board? There's no way that's what's in. <laughs> it looked like a solid bite. That's a starry flounder. Yeah, we throw it back down. Yeah. Starry flounder. <laughs> Woo! This does not give a good one. That's the Yeah. So here we went back to trolling for King Salmon. Now the tide had turned over enough to where Chris thought they'd be active. We had all gotten our big and small halibut, so we were going to spend the rest of the time trying to get each of our single King Salmon. You're allowed to keep a day. Once we were in position, it didn't take long at all. This first hit took about five minutes. Hey, Reno, fish on! Got it. Got it. Let him run. Follow the back. Reel it that way. There you go. That's a good fish. Wow. Like that, yep. Reeling. All right. Lift 
Wow. Now hooking and landing a king salmon is a whole big production. Rods come out of the water usually. So once we got that salmon all taken care of, we got the rods back in and it was maybe two minutes before my dad's rod went off. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> Woo. Okay. I saw that tap. That was tap and then <laughs> freaking smoked it. Did yeah, he it? did. I don't know if I had the camera on in time, but I got it on just after. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I will. I will certainly next time. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be the last one left soon. <laughs> it's a good fish. It's, I bet you it's a twin to that one we just got. Nice. Good job. Excellent. Woo. Excellent. And I yelled at your client so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> See? Keep me around. Woo. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna run at you sometimes. Remember, last wiggle, last wiggle. Fonzie <laughs> wiggle? I'm telling you, that's a good fit. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, let's keep that bend. I'm just repeating what they're saying, I don't know. Yeah, I'm half tempted to just go back through there. Yeah, I would really? too. No, I think we should probably. We should probably find a new spot. It's a good action shot right there. <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. He's not ready. <laughs> Look at that guy. Holy. Step back. Come back here. Come back to me. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nice. God. Look at this guy. Holy. <laughs> nice fish, Dad. Corey can't even steal that one from you. You got that one tagged? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Just don't drop the motor. <laughs> there you go. Fish. Oh. Oh, oh. Well. So here Drew was nice enough to hand this one off to me. He's caught more than his fair share of king salmon in his life, I'm sure. But also I think he was holding the rod for a second and he sensed it wasn't big enough for him. But uh, I was ready to catch whatever. That's very generous of you. <laughs> What's going on here? Here, Chris and Drew noticed that although it was definitely a salmon bite, the line was going straight below us when it should be going straight behind us. It turned out the quick release actually had not triggered even though the fish had pulled so hard. So what Drew and Chris actually had to do oh, was pull the downrigger up and Chris manually pulled the line out of the quick release and held it so we kept the tension while I tried to bring up the slack as much as I could. Okay, lift it up high, use up the slack. Yep. There you go. Got him? Pull back, pull back, pull back. Real. So you're, you're super, super aggressive. Don't have to be that aggressive. Still there him. he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Nice. That was interesting, but... Yeah, because I didn't see it. <laughs> we, didn't even, we didn't even make it back to our spot yet, I don't think. Uh -huh. No, not even close. Woo. Wait, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm just right there. He's a hell of it. Corey. There My fish is right there. Yeah, I see him. Yep. Go. Okay, nice side pressure. Good job. Corey, get over there. I got a heli. I didn't see him. Oh, it's gone now. Never mind. You messed around. Woo. There he goes. He's awake now. Oh, 
There you go. Give me a couple more trays. Fish, Reno? So. Wait, wait. We're not setting. <laughs> Keep reeling. Okay, uh, lift yeah. for me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Back up. Dip, lift. Go, 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 go. Lift high. Lift. There you go. Woo. Nice. <laughs> nice, baby. Pop her right back in here. Four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Having a taste? Marginal, <laughs> right? I hear They're her. terrible. Yeah, I, hear I mean, they taste like old rotten yeah. sardines. If I do, I wouldn't haul that sucker home. I just, it's not yeah. worth it. Hauling her on the floor. Yo, would you want to take it? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, no, I I, if you. I so I it, it, I got uh, Would you be willing to take it off? We need to smoke it or something. So my dad and I had an awesome day on the water. It was really a dream come true. And I just want to give a huge thanks to Chris at Discover Alaskan Adventures for putting us on some once in a lifetime fish. When we finally got off the water, we went back to where we were staying to do a halibut catch and cook. So stay tuned for that. Okay, well, we're back at the cabin now where we're staying. And before we left, we had them clean up uh, one of the small halibut. So these are two fillets off of the smallest halibut we kept today. These are huge fish. And this is not the 40 pounder that I caught earlier. This is the smallest one. It was probably a 10 pound fish, uh, which again, only, only in quotes, a 10 pound fish. And we're gonna do a really quick cook up here. Something very simple. We're gonna do some olive oil, butter, garlic, paprika, and salt and pepper. And we're gonna bake it at 350 and uh, see what we come up with. We also have some uh, red beans and rice cooking up here. And we're just gonna serve it over that. Should be delicious, very easy. Uh, so this is a lot of fish for one meal, so I think I'm probably going to cook probably just half of this. So I'll probably cut this big filet in half and uh, keep the rest, uh, the second filet, for another meal. Maybe some ceviche tomorrow, something like that. We'll see what happens. But we're starving. We just got back from being off the water, so I'm going to get this in the oven. Stay tuned, and uh, I'm going to show you what I do here. So this is the one filet cut in half. This is still going to be a huge amount of fish for us. What's funny is the lodge was saying I didn't have the best stocked kitchen, so we are using a pizza pan. So let's put a little bit of olive oil on top. I'm gonna rub that in, Just rub that on, get it coated. Make sure it gets on the skin as well because these are skin on fillets. Get that crispy skin on the bottom side and we can just scoop the meat off it once it's all cooked. So we have minced garlic already cut up. I'm just gonna spread some of that around on there. Don't wanna do a huge amount, garlic is very strong. Then a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper some paprika and then the final most important part is going to be putting some little slabs of butter on there that's just going to melt and spread around on there cook into the fish all right so that's it and then we're gonna throw that in the oven probably for i'm gonna guess about 12 or 14 minutes these are pretty thick fillets so uh, it might take a little bit longer, but just enough to get it white and flaky. We definitely don't want to overcook it. That's about to be the ticket. And then we're going to serve it with that rice. It's going to be delicious. All right, so let's see. It took about 15 minutes of cook time. Then we let it sit in there for a little bit longer to keep it warm while the rice finished up. That looks really freaking good. But uh, we got the rice here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and plate this up. I'll try it real quick, and then we're going to eat because we are hungry. All right, so obviously not the uh, prettiest plate here. Thanks, Dad, for the uh, professional recording. So we got the fish, and then we have this slop of beans that smells really good, and uh, it's going to be good. Just going to get a little bit of the fish off the skin there. <laughs> yep, that's really good. So I'm not going to bore you guys talking about the meal too much. It's really tasty. It wasn't a big surprise. It's a recipe we've done before with other fish, and halibut's just obviously a very good fish. And this is as fresh as it gets, so we're gonna go ahead and eat. We had a long day out there, and we gotta get back out there again tomorrow. I know it's a tough life, but hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to make some time for fishing. See you next time. Mm -hmm.